We're making it worse. No, we're going to lose it in the river. Go forward. Forward. Oh, jeez. Nearly lost the bulldozer then. Right, let's carry on pushing this concrete. All right, can I help you? No? Okay. Hello everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Lawn Care USA. But uh, there's been a little change of plan with the series. Um, it's no longer called Lawn Care USA. Because we've been doing other things, not just Lawn Care, we've decided to call it Landscaping USA. Which I think makes a bit more sense because we're actually doing a bit of groundwork at the moment. And speaking of groundwork, we are currently here in the Ford F-350 and we're taking over some... Uh, let me just move the camera for a minute. We're taking over some concrete to our little uh, lot here. So this is going to be the last groundworking that we have to do in the lot and then all we have to do is transport the building materials and the shed will be up and then we can finally start the actual proper lawn care so I'm really really excited for that um, so I hope you guys are well sorry it's been a while since the last one I like to keep these quite rare so they, uh, they're quite refreshing but they're not like they don't get boring basically so um let's just go ahead and turn out of here real quick so that's today's plan we're going to go ahead and uh, start leveling this now I'm assuming we're going to need more than one load of this personally um Actually, where's the turning? I always forget where the turning is. Let's go ahead and turn in here. So if you haven't missed all the previous ones, I will put a link in the description box or a card up in the top right corner for the playlist for this whole series. Um, right, actually, what's going on here? Come on. Thank you. Right, so uh, as you can see, in the last episode, we threw down some crushed, uh, crushed rock and gravel. That's now been flattened really nice. We've got no holes in the ground anymore. So all we have to do now is start laying down the, the concrete. I suppose. This is obviously raw concrete. Let's go ahead and start tipping here real quick. No, we're stuck. Go, 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 go. Oh, that was close. We nearly got stuck. Let's pour as much of this out as we can without getting stuck, actually. So yeah, if you uh, missed the first load of uh, episodes, maybe it's your first one of the series, and basically what we're doing is we're setting up a lawn care business in the USA, but there's a twist. We also have to uh, make the, the the shed ourselves. The, our HQ, we're creating ourselves. This here used to be a wasteland and our trees and stuff here, so over the last few episodes we've been cutting down the trees, moving all the trees, uh, we've uh, turfed up all the ground, so we got it down to the bare mud, basically. And then we threw down some crushed rock and uh, made it all level. So we're getting there slowly. Uh, let's go ahead and jump out of here. We'll jump in to the bulldozer. We've got our uh, Duramax over there ready to go later on if we need it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump in to the bulldozer. This is the Rotec 8030, or 830, sorry. Uh, this is not a real one, I don't think. I believe this is from a old Giants game. I think they did a construction game a while back, and this is from that. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We'll get her booted up right here. Well, this thing's got like a million cameras, so bear with me whilst I find the one that we want. There we go. Okay, we've got our beacon light on box we're working in this site. Okay. So let's go ahead and start making a start on this, basically. We're just going to get it nice and flat, and then we'll go get another load in a minute. Let's go ahead and move the camera around to a good position. So, unfortunately, this doesn't work as well as we want, this uh, leveling thing. So we can sort of do it, but the actual tracks work a bit better than the, uh, the blade, which is a bit annoying, but... At least we're doing it. So we're going to be using the weight of the bulldozer as well to help us spread this. And uh, yeah, like I said, this will be the last ground work, if you like, for this particular lot yard. And then we've already got a couple of contracts rolling in as well. So it's going to be fun. We've got lots of jobs to do once the uh, building's all set up and ready to go. Let's put it back into forward here. Rotate the camera around. Like so. Awesome. So um, here's something I've started doing. Uh, so I've started doing three comments from the previous video so if there's a comment I like or something I'll uh, put it into the next video so if you leave a comment on this video I will put it if I like it sorry I will put the uh, top three that I personally think in the next video so here is today's three so um, I don't actually know what they are just yet so I can't even comment on them but there we go um, this bit here is a bit tricky so if we go too low with the blade it actually leaves a massive gap in the uh, the pile, which is not what we want. We want to get it nice and flat if we can. So yeah, we're definitely, definitely going to be needing another um, another load of this. We might even need a couple, to be fair. Now, a little, uh, little confession. This is actually the second time I've recorded this video. The first time went horrifically wrong, as in uh, the second time we picked up some concrete quotation marks, and we actually picked up cement by accident. So we had two different piles here, which wasn't great. Um, and then I had so many interruptions, I thought, you know what, 
we're just going to cancel it. I'll record it again. That is why yesterday on the channel we had Euro Truck Simulator and not Farm Sim. But uh, hopefully this one goes a bit better. Let's go ahead and flatten this out a little bit more now. If there's a little bit in the uh, center that we want to get, let's go ahead and rotate this around. This is actually... They've nailed it on this bulldozer. It's pretty much a zero degree turn. If I full lock to the right here... Well, we're in the wrong gear. Let's put it back into forward. So I'm not sure how these guys have done it, but they've managed to crack the uh, zero turn issue that everyone seems to have with Farm Sim. So I may reference this bulldozer later on if I uh, ever do anything with tracks. Right, how are we going to do this without making gaps, basically? Just drive over it. Use the weight of the bulldozer, like I said a minute ago. So this is a whole trailer, but as you can see, it's not really filling up the, uh, the space that we wanted. So we might need a few loads of this. There we go. Now, unfortunately, we don't actually have to get rid of any... Uh, like I said, I recorded this yesterday, but I decided to delete it and start over again. So we don't actually have any scrap to get rid of anymore. We had a couple of fences and stuff that we sold. Well, not sold, but we scrapped it, I mean, sorry. Um, unfortunately, they're already gone, because I made the mistake of saving it, even though I wasn't keeping it, the recording. The little uh, pile there we're going to get. Yes. Back up. So I think that's going to be enough for now. Let's go ahead and jump back in to the 350. And um, we'll get some more building materials, I suppose. Right, that will do. We'll just double checking. Always uh, do one for luck. Right, let's go ahead and move the bulldozer out of the way here. We'll park it off to the side. Go ahead and lower the bucket for safety reasons, or the blade even. And we'll get it turned off. Jump back into the 350, and we'll go and collect some more concrete. Not cement, concrete. Let's try and do it right this time. Let's get our diff locks and stuff off here. Head tracking back on. Put her into reverse. And away we go. So yeah, I'll pick up more concrete, and I'll see you guys in a jiffy, I suppose. Are we going to crash out of here? Why is it? There we go. And we're away. All right, everybody, so we're on our way back now with a full bed of uh, concrete there. So, just a quick update, because it's been a while since the last episode. Uh, basically, there is a huge storm on the way in. So, hopefully, we don't get caught up in that, because that'll be very, very annoying. Uh, we've got a couple of residents still up in the mountain. I'm not sure what the uh, city halls do with them. Let's go ahead and go into here before that car comes. So, I'm not sure what city halls do with the people up in the mountains. It's not very safe to be up there. We've got people living up there in caravans. We did bring one huge one down a few weeks ago, which uh, you guys seem to enjoy, so maybe we'll uh, pull one another one down soon or something. I don't know. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and unload this into a nice little line like that. It's quite actually a lot in this bed. It's a lot more than you think it is. Right, there we go. Let's get this forward out the way again. Oh gosh, we're up against the fence a little bit here. That's one thing we have to do as well in the future, we have to get rid of these fences, because this is not actually a fenced off area, and it's not going to be a fenced off area. It's just something we're doing whilst we're building it. Um, so yeah, we've got another little uh, pile here to flatten down, so hopefully it merges with this one. It should, because it's the same material. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the bulldozer. Apparently we get into this side on this. There we go, we'll get started back up. Beacon lights back on. Let's go cycle through the hundred cameras that we have. And... Uh, We'll make a start again. Let's get the blade lifted up a tiny, tiny bit here. Okay. And yeah, we'll just level this again. Right. Long here. Look at that. It's working well. Make sure we don't have the blade too low once again, because it will mess up the uh, the line that we've got going on. Let's reverse a little bit. We sort of uh, went a little bit too high then. I'm adjusting, you can't really tell, but I'm adjusting the blade ever so slightly as we go over. Just to keep it sort of level with what the, well, the level we want it to be at, basically. There we go. I made a, left a huge gap because I wasn't paying attention. See that? It's actually, there's a little bit of uh, piles over here. We're going to go ahead and crush this with our weight instead of using the bucket, just in case we mess it up. Like so... So I don't know if this uh, bulldozer actually works for compacting silage clamps. It'd be interesting to know if it does, because this thing will be quite handy to using a silage clamp if, you, uh, if you're a farmer. Not that you'd ever bulldozer in real life, but I mean, if you've got one on hand, why not? Right, it looks like we're doing alright here. This is actually levelled quite easy, this one. We managed to nail the bucket work, so the actual compacting work is going alright, I think. Now, of course, in real life, all we'd be doing right now is leaving track marks everywhere, which isn't good. But uh, 
Luckily, we don't have to worry about that in Farm Sim. There's a couple of bits sticking out on this side here, so we're going to go ahead and use the weight of the bulldozer to uh, flatten this out. I wish you could... Uh, actually, I could have set up a course play for the uh, Ford to keep bringing us more and more concrete, but I should have done that before we recorded, basically. We set up the course play, I mean. We seem to be doing alright here. So, I did actually, oh, that's alright, in the last episode I asked you guys if you could recommend any good sheds. We had a couple of good ones sent in, and there was a lot of FS15 ones put in, which we can actually use, but the animation parts that you guys are included won't work, unfortunately, because they use scripts and stuff that I don't know how to change. Okay, we seem to be doing alright I think we're going to need to go yet another load of this, I think. Yeah, possibly. I think we are. Right, let's go get another load. Okay, right, everybody, so for the third time now, we're heading back. We've got another full bed of uh, concrete here. Um, the people ask why I don't film the collective stuff, and that's because it's just a off-camera silo, basically. It ruins the immersion if I just go up to a silo and press get. So, um, actually, let's tell you we haven't done just yet. We haven't done this bottom bit down here, so we'll do that real quick. Right, there we go. Right, let's go ahead and reverse the Ford up real quick. Stop. Start unloading this now. And we'll slowly pull forward and we'll start filling out this bottom end, I reckon. So that's what I was also meant to mention. So we've got this beautiful river right next to our new yard. And we've also got a little, if you look up there, we've got a little slipway going into the river. What can we do with that? Does anyone have any ideas? We don't have to use it. But of course, I'm sure there's like a business idea that somebody has that we can uh, do with the river, uh, use the river. Now, bearing in mind we've got a bridge there that's quite low, we might be able to get a rib boat under that. But, um... That's pretty much it, I think, so I'm not really sure what we're going to do with this river. Like I said, maybe nothing, but, um, yeah, it'd be a shame not to do anything with it whatsoever. Um, as you see, it's beautiful. Goes all the way upstream. Uh, I think we might be able to get a little narrow, a little rib boat through there, but apart from that, not really too sure. Okay, let's jump back into the bulldozer once again, and we'll start leveling out this one. That's probably the final one of the video. Bit of a... Boring video, but it's a bit of an update for you guys. Just to let you know what's happening with the American landscaping. Not long care anymore. American landscaping a series. So just to let you know it hasn't stopped. So uh, next episode should be quite interesting because we're gonna have to bring down all the, like the shed materials, like the steel beams and the sheet metal and the wood, and you get the idea. That's basically what we're gonna be doing in the next episode. Um, I'll probably get that done as soon as possible. Uh, so hopefully next week sometime, or maybe before that. You guys will have the next episode. And um, obviously we're going to have to hire some trucks in for that. Because I don't think... Actually, we might go to Duramax. I don't... Obviously, we don't have American-style pickup trucks in the UK. So I don't actually know how powerful the Duramaxes are. Um, obviously, you can have gooseneck stuff with heavy stuff on it. So I'm assuming they're a bit stronger than I uh, think. But who knows? I don't know. So you, if there's any American guys watching this, or even Canadian, maybe you guys can tell me. So we're just flattening this now. It looks like we might need to get another load in the middle here. I thought this would spread out to that pile there, but unfortunately that's not been the case. Let's go ahead and lower the blade down real quick. Put her into forward. There we go. Um, there's a little bit on the... I'll tell you what, I don't want this on the grass. This is what... what oh, tongue twisted. <laughs> this wasn't meant to be on the grass. Let's go ahead... And uh, see if we can scoop this off the grass if we can. We'll get the blade lifted all the way down. And there's a bit of a hill there, so it's got a bit awkward. Well, push it up. No, we've made it worse. I think we made it worse. Right, lift the blade up. We're making it worse. No, oh, we're going to lose it in the river. Go forward. Forward. Oh, jeez. Nearly lost the bulldozer then. Right, let's carry on pushing this concrete. There's a little bit in there. Lift up the blade, get rid of that. Jeez. That was a uh, tense moment. Stop, 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 stop. All these brakes are terrible. Luckily, it's got a lot of torque to get us back up the hill after. So once we do eventually stop, it is quite easy to get back up. Right, come on, off the grass. Oh, look at that. That was a good one. Let's go ahead and push it. Why is it going backwards again? Dang it. You gotta love farm sims physics sometimes, don't you guys? Right. Uh, lower that down again. 
back into forward. Alright, I'm going to keep going this time. I don't think we pushed it in far enough, that's why it was uh, still going backwards. Whack this into reverse. Um, Alright, we're going to do one more push on this, I think. Oh gosh, we're falling down the riverbank again. <sighs> right, let's go ahead and do... Nope, nope. We're stuck. There we go, that's more like it. This bulldozer, uh, very surprise handling, to say the least. Oh, there we go. We'll get the rest of the scrag ends later on, because no doubt there's going to be more that go off by the time we finish this. Right, let's carry on flattening this here. There's a bit of a mess here now, because we're pushing it all up. So we'll just use the weight of the bulldozer to lower this, or we'll flatten it even. Like so. And I think... That will do it. So I'm just basically going to carry on this now until this whole crushed rock slash concrete base is covered in concrete. That's basically what I'm going to be doing. And then the next video, like I said, we will be ready to start laying down the foundations for our building. Very, very exciting stuff. And then shortly after that, we'll start our contracts with the nearby neighbours and the uh, city hall because we're doing some work for them. And also, we're going to be working in the mountains somewhere, wherever they are. Up there. We will be working in those actual mountains. So it's going to be fun. It's up in the distance there. See him? We can actually go up there, which is going to be exciting. So, um, yeah, we'll be working up there in the next couple of episodes, so stay tuned. Right, I feel like we need to do... I feel like we're forgetting to do something quite important today. I'm sorry I had something planned. Uh, I can't remember what it was. Uh, oh, I've lost it. We were meant to be doing something. Oh, yeah, that was right. We need to bring the uh, skid steer over here as well for the uh, smaller bit. So I'm going to quickly... Uh, I don't think we need the Duramax today. So we're going to take the Duramax back to our little temporary camp. Oh, that was the map. Why is the diff locks on? Oh, they've done that weird glitch thing. That's a shame. We'll leave them on for now. Um, so we're taking the Duramax back to our temporary camp, and we need to somehow bring the skid steer over ready for the next episode. It saves us doing it in that episode then, because this is what we're going to be using to lift stuff around. And our cat is actually over at the diner still. I need to go get the cat. There she is, right over there. You can see her. Um, I can't remember why that was there. Oh, we're just going to park in behind this gooseneck here. So we've basically set up camp here. This is where us, all my work staff, and there's a couple of uh, residents here as well until there's more housing available. So we'll get this uh, gooseneck disconnected here. Now where is the, uh, the trailer? Here it is. Okay, oh, we <laughs> we've actually already got the JCB loaded up, which is handy, as you can see here. So it's going to save us some work. We've got the uh, forestry blade on that as well that we actually want to get rid of. So what truck? I'll tell you what. We'll stay in the Duramax. You guys seem to like the Duramax for some reason. So uh, we'll stay in this. I was going to use the Ford, but um, that yellow Ford, I mean, but never mind. Alright, let's go ahead and hook this up. Like so. Now, unfortunately, I do want to. Um, how do I open the back? I can't remember. X? Oh, we have to pull it forward a little bit here. So uh, I want to get that forestry blade off if I can. I don't want to take that over there. We don't need it. Right, let's rotate this around. So, by the way, this is my own custom version of this trailer. As you can see, I added the uh, weed whackers to the side there for when we do the lawn care stuff. I also changed the wheels white because uh, they look better white, I think. But uh, yeah, it's coming along nicely. We've got a couple new trailers as well that aren't actually here yet. They're still in delivery. So we're going to jump in to the... Uh... Right, can I help you? No? Okay. We'll jump into the skid steer. We're using the JCB today. Um, this is actually our far... Actually, no. Hmm, I'm confused what we want to do. This is actually our lawn care skid steer. So I'm not sure if we want to uh, use this one or the cat. We don't want to risk damaging this one. That's the problem. I wonder if we can get both of them on there. That might be a solution. So let me just first of all get this uh, bucket taken off here. I forgot the uh, JCB was inverted. There we go. Put it back into reverse. Get the arm lifted up here. Right, so yeah, we want to get this... Ooh, wrong gear. We want to get this uh, forestry cutter picked up. And then we might have to go get the cat as well. Here we go. Hook that up. Lift up the blade. Um, can't see what I'm doing. The head tracking doesn't go that far. We'll just guess. Oh, we do have mirrors. They're not really any good, but we do have mirrors regardless. Right, where is the rest of the tools? Do you know what? We'll just whack it down here for now. This is going to be our JCB pile here. Get that disconnected. Slap her into reverse. And we'll pick this up again. 
like so. Right. Finally, we'll load her up now. So we're getting... We are going to take the bucket just in case. Although we actually need the uh, chain hoist thing later on. Go. Oh, no. This is going to be a bit... I don't think this is going to fit now with the... Uh, the weed whackers. We're going to have to lift it up over them and then down the other side, I think. Right. That should do. We'll actually lower it down like here for now. And um, we'll pull us a little bit. Stop. Now, can we get the cat on the back? I think we can with uh, no implements on. So if we, as long as we don't take any implements, we should be fine. Uh, I'm just trying to position the JCB so we can get it on. Right. We'll get that turned off. Uh, we'll leave the Duramax running real quick. We'll run over. I actually have a sprint button on my uh, side panel now. My uh, steering wheel, sorry. So the cat also has the level bucket thing on. So it's going to be interesting. It is connected. We'll jump in. Oh, you got to get into the front of this one. There we go. So this is the cat. For those who haven't seen it just yet, it's a bit glitchy, but it's still pretty cool that we've got it regardless. Right, put it into forwards here. Ooh. We're actually in cruise control right now. Right, we'll get this thing loaded up. Once again, I'm not sure if this is going to go... Can we curl the bucket? Only a little bit. Right, what's the best way to load this thing up then? Are we going around this crane truck thing? I think we are. Yeah, we are. We'll go around it. Ooh, we've got some other tools here. We've got the log grab, and that is the, um, the cultivator thing for the... What would you call it? The power harrow, maybe? Goes on the front of the skid steer, basically. Now, is this going to go on? Go, go, go for me. Go, go, go. Nope. Dang it. Like I said, this thing is a bit glitchy, so you have to have a bit of a run-up, which is a shame. Up you get. Up you get. Yes. Power. Right. So you just hover there. Well, these collisions are a bit big on this bucket. We might have to lift it up over the JCB, which is a bit worrying in case we damage the JCB, but it's got to be done. that camera down a little bit like that. Stop! Um, down as much as we can. I think that will do us. As you can see, it's actually resting on the JCB now. It's just stopping it from shaking, which is good. Uh, we'll get that turned off. Oh, What the heck? You give me a heart attack. So there we go. We've got both of our skid steers loaded up. Now we've got the big bad boy here. This is the one we use for lawn care. It does need a wash, obviously. Uh, we've got the tiny little cat here. Small but powerful. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this... Uh, Fold it up once again. Where is the camera? Right, we'll get the rear of this put back. And we'll take our skid steers over to the lot, ready for our next video. Move out the way, buddy. Move out the way. This uh, trailer takes no prisoners, that's for sure. Right. I think we've had an accident. I think the JCB just fell off. Something's going on back there. We'll ignore that. We're going to that. That's uh, sort of breaking the immersion. That's nothing to do with me. I think it's the cat. Like I said, the cat is glitchy, guys, which ruins the immersion a little bit, but um, it's the only way we can get it over there, basically, without driving it. So actually, as long as it stays on, we should be good. It's probably because I think the JCB is glitching out because we put them too close to each other. I think that's what's going on. And we're also driving on the wrong side of the road here, but there's a good reason for that. Because we have to swing her out wide and then pull her in. I think the Ford might be in the way. Let's rotate this camera around a minute. Yeah, a Ford's definitely, definitely in the way. So we're just going to go ahead and park over here for now. It's a shame that the, the uh, skid steers all moved around, but it's not my fault, unfortunately. <laughs> Stop. Get that turned off. And uh, yeah, that'll be us for this episode. So I'm going to go ahead and get more... Uh, well, I'll say one more. We're going to need more than one more load of concrete. We're probably going to need a few more loads of concrete here. So uh, thank you very, very much for joining me in this episode. If you did enjoy it, please slap that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more for myself. Like I said, stay tuned because in the next episode, we will be uh, bringing our building materials over, ready to uh, do the groundwork on our building. And then after that, it's all going to be lawn care and jobs. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. So once again, thank you very much for joining me. I've been Simulate Gaming. Hit subscribe to see more for myself. And I'll see you in the next one.